So we're looking at the shell for a Hyperloop vehicle made by the MIT Hyperloop 2 team in 2019. And this is the plug and in red what would become a mold if this were built first with a plug and then with what I call a female mold. I'm just looking at the geometry now to get a sense of it. It's about two meters long and there's a 150 millimeter slash six inch flange that we put on the edge here and trying to decide how to build it. And now we're looking at the surface. It was modeled with a nose piece and the body in two separate pieces and you can see some discontinuity there. Um, the lines don't really line up. We're going to refit them together and try and get that surface to be nice and smooth. Still a little bit, but at least now we know it's all roughly the same, keeping the tolerance pretty tight. Um, decided to build it in a fe direct female mold, and we're modeling in a gap six millimeters between the nose and the body piece which will turn out to be a mistake um, because they are to be built in one piece instead of in two pieces. This was a piece of information I had failed to gather at this point. Um, so looking at it this way we're going to build the body of it, the smooth part, um, strip planked because the goal here is to build it as quick and relatively inexpensive as possible. Um, laying out some stations on close centers for the strip planking. At either end in light blue uh, you can see MDF what will be bulkheads made of multiple layers of MDF glued together and machined. Uh, those will tie the ends together because we don't have much space uh, underneath. There's not much back backbone to this mold. Um, so those are the mold sections and this is the final designed egg crate. The nose with the compound curvature is going to be machined out of layers of solid MDF. Now we're looking at the egg crate clearance features for where the sheets slot together. These are the longitudinals and because it's going to be cut on a router uh, with a bit with diameter, uh, putting these little ears on the slots. So because the machine can't cut perfectly square inside corner. So these will allow it to uh, allow the, the ends of the slots to fit tight against each other. These longitudinal pieces and then you can see on the far right the transverse frames. Um, all the longitudinal pieces with the exception of the one at the bottom are the same um, and we'll model these as solids and then use the transverse ones to chop slots um, in the longitudinal ones. So here's the whole assembly. Um, there are slots at the bottom if it's going to be built on uh, two by four inch aluminum box beams just to align everything. You can see these are the machined parts. Um, the green is going to be made in stacks um, and will pre-machine the MedEx MDF for those blocks. Um, here they all laid out with on the right um, just a pre-cut set of MDF sheets will machine out on the router um, so they can be glued up just so we don't have to glue up these huge blocks 